Awake Episode 1 is a room-scale dramatic performance with light interaction. It's available for the Vive and Rift for about $8 US. Here's my review of it in its current state as of December 2018. We'll start with the story, which, without giving away too much, is a psychological drama of sorts with a strong dose of surreal. It consists of nine scenes that add up to just over 20 minutes of playtime, and can be selected individually at the menu screen after first being viewed. As for the acting, I was very impressed. They've clearly brought in professionals and it really does show, and while the motion capture isn't quite flawless, with the occasional micro stutter of motion or lighting, it is overall surprisingly smooth and realistic. And though I have seen several reviewers bring up Uncanny Valley, I personally didn't feel it evoked here at all. I know! I will not be rushed! <laughs> The gameplay consists exclusively of watching scenes play out and occasionally touching something to trigger the next. Make no mistake, this is a viewing experience, not a doing. Know that going in and it won't disappoint you. As for locomotion, it's exclusively room scale movement, no artificial. Let's talk sounds, which I've no complaints with, and while the 3D mapping isn't quite perfect, it's good enough to not take away from the immersion. That leads us to music, which is movie quality and very tastefully implemented in my opinion. Well done, uh, we've had a real breakthrough. You're an excellent subject. So I think we can dispense with the charade. Huh? Now for graphics, which offers two options, standard quality, which has quite low resolution and severe aliasing in a Fallout 4 VR at launch kind of way, and high quality, which is moderately better. I'm sure you mean charming. Credit where credit's due, this is the closest to photorealistic room scale video that I've seen in VR, but if you're expecting flawless photorealism, you'll be disappointed. In terms of performance, on my 1070, I ran high quality super sample to 150% with minimal issue. Now for the verdict. This is an impressive experience with excellent acting and the best room scale video I've seen in VR. Is it worth $8 US? For a 20 minute experience, that's definitely on the high side. And while I personally quite enjoyed it and am comfortable with what I paid, I've no doubt there will be some who disagree.